What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a classic video talking about the best molly that I've ever done. Hope you guys do enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, and like I said yesterday, daily uploads are back, but don't forget to add my Snapchat, hit me up on there, drop a like if you do enjoy. Also, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, which I occasionally pop in here and there, I'll probably slide in tonight, not guaranteed. That'll be linked in the description if you guys want to come hang out, talk to me later, have a hoot and a holler, whatever, yada yada. Either way, hope you guys enjoy. Let's dive into it. So, the best Molly I've ever had. Now, this happened a while ago. This was, I mean, I, I feel like most of my stories take place around this time area, time frame, but it was, I, I want to say maybe early April of 2016, I'm pretty sure it was, it was either late March or early April, and at this point, you know, I was rolling fairly often, you know, more often than I should have, I'll tell you that much, I think it was probably a bi-weekly thing, and, you know, I'm sitting there, it was a boring day, and my boy Ashton hits me up, he hits me up, he's like, yo, what you want today, I said, not shit, why, let's hang out, what's the plan, he's like, listen, I got some new molly, and there's a party going on tonight, it's a little bit far, but if you drive me, we could roll. And I was like, absolutely. Phenomenal. This sounds fantastic. How far? He's like 40 minutes. I'm like, okay, that's kind of far, but that's not that bad. So let's fucking go. So it was like maybe 3 p.m. It was pretty early. I don't know why we decided to get together this early because the party wasn't starting till like 8, you know? So I go over to his house at 3 we're kicking it, you know, I, I kind of shake up with him, I'm like, what's good, we chill in his house for a minute, because he's like, I gotta grab some shit out of my room, and like, he hadn't even showered yet, I don't know why he told me to come get him, so he was like, yeah, dude, just play CS on my computer, I'm gonna go hop in the shower, so I was like, alright, so I'm sitting there fragging out on Counter-Strike while he's fucking doing his thing, getting ready, so finally, maybe like 20, 30 minutes later, I was in the middle of a game, he just told me to abandon it, he was just like, fuck it, dude, I don't wanna wait, let's just go do some shit, so we hop in my car, we're driving, and we have nothing to fucking do until 8 o'clock. It's like maybe 3.30 at this point. We had nothing to do. So we ended up going to Taco Bell, and I don't know why the fuck we went to Taco Bell. I wasn't really hungry, but he suggested it, so I was like, fuck it, let's go. So, you know, we're sitting in this Taco Bell, and he's like, oh shit, I almost forgot. And I was like, what? And he's like, I gotta show you this shit. And I'm like, alright, you know, I'm expecting, oh, he's just gonna show me a picture of it on his phone. We are sitting in a booth at Taco Bell. I mean, granted, it was kind of empty. And he just busts out the bag right on the table. This man did not give a fuck. Like, he kind of tried to hide it. Like, he kind of put it behind, like, the wrapper of one of his tacos. He got the fucking Doritos Locos ones. Them, them shits are pretty good. I'll tell you guys right now. But he, he kind of, like, hid it behind the the wrapper a little bit, but he just slapped it on the fucking table. And I, I kind of look at him. I didn't even say anything about it because I knew, like, whatever, dude, we're already doing this, just fuck it, let me see it, so I'm taking a look, it, it looked interesting, you know, a lot of molly I've had, it can be white, I've had brown sugar, and, you know, on, on an occasion, I'll have some really light yellow, like, how do I explain it, almost like, almost like lemonade, but not really, like, like murky piss, or like watered down lemonade, or some shit, like, that's what this looked like, it was really, really, like, bright yellow, like, very bright yellow, majority, majority clear, majority, like, white-ish, it, it was weird, but it looked interesting, you know, and I was, I was excited, I was thrilled for it, I, I was, you know, I, I was kind of interested, because I hadn't rolled in a couple weeks at this point, my due date was coming up, you know, my schedule at the time, and also, I, I hadn't really had molly that looked like this you know i knew at the end of the day i would still be rolling but i was just interested he said it was new shit i was like fuck it so i was like what is this like why is it you know why is it yellow and he's like honestly i don't fucking know but it looks great so let's do it and i was like all right so what we end up doing is we finish eating we hop back in my car we're not really doing shit for a long ass time. We go over to our boy Chris's house and we're talking to him. Chris doesn't want to come along to the party and, you know, I was still smoking at this point, but Ashton couldn't smoke, so he was sitting there just kind of kicking it. I was smoking a blunt with Chris. We spent a couple hours there just playing games. You know, we played 2K even though I'm not that good at it and I kind of got worked. You know, we played, I'm pretty sure we played, I think it was... It wasn't BO3. We played we played Advanced Warfare. We played Advanced Warfare and 2K and just sat there. You know, me and Chris were baked. 
Ashton was fucked up on something. God knows what. Dude was always intoxicated. And finally, it was like 7 o'clock, you know? And I was like, all right, you sure you don't want to come, Chris? Chris is like, nah, you guys can go. I'm going to kick it for the night. I'm tired as shit. So I was like, all right, peace out. You know, me and Ashton shake up with him. We hop in my car. We get going. Now, this, like I said, this party was about 40 minutes away. You know, it was in a town called... Oh, was it was it Yorktown or Yorkville? I don't remember. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna say the town I live in, but you could do like some some fancy shit and probably guess which town I live in. But either way, it, it was like a 40 minute drive. So, you know, we're whipping it. We're going on the highway. We're going west. We're flying. We're just having a good time riding on the highway, listening to some music. And I, I was really excited to start rolling. I was really excited. You know, and we pull up maybe we made pretty good time because I'm a fast driver, you know? So we, I, we got there maybe like 7.35, like 7.30. I, I was really flying down that highway. Let me tell you guys, like the majority of the trip was on the highway and I was just going like definitely three digits the entire time in terms of speed. But, you know, we get there and he's like, oh, before we go in, we should cap this shit up and do it now. And then I can just leave this in the car because I don't know a lot of people who are going to be here. And I was like, all right, well, whatever, fuck it, let's do it. So he, he originally suggested we cap it up. I didn't really think far enough ahead to realize that maybe he wouldn't have caps. And he was like, yeah, I just realized I don't have my caps. So fuck. And I was like, it's whatever. We can just rub it on our gums. Fuck it. We can, we could just do that. You know, whatever. Just tuck it in your lip like some chewing tobacco and go brazy, you know? So he's like, all right, yeah, that works, I guess. So he, he ends up pulling out a scale. He pulls out the little bag. He's scaling it out. He gives me a a decent dose. You know, he throws me, I think it was like a 0.18 because I told him I didn't want to roll super hard, but I also really wanted to try this. And let me tell you, I did end up rolling super fucking hard. (laughs) I, I definitely did. You know, what ended up happening was I just took the, I took the point and I kind of like, I had to crush it. You know, we, it, it was really difficult because we're sitting in my car and we had to like do it on the dashboard where we had a scale on the dash. And then he had his hands around the scale, like covering it. So if any of it flew out from under my phone, which is what I was using to crush it, he would like catch it and it wouldn't just go to waste. So I'm, you know, I'm crushing it down with my phone on top of the scale, you know, just smashing that shit down. He's holding his hands to the side. I got it about as well crushed as I'm going to get it because there's no way I'm shoving these fucking crystals in my lips. Fuck that. And... I just, I grabbed it and just shoved it right in there. You know, I didn't literally grab it with my fucking fist. You know, I kind of scooped it onto like a little debit card and then just rubbed the debit card on my gum and that worked. So I did that. You know, I'm letting it sit there. And if you guys have seen my previous Molly videos, you know, Molly tastes like fucking ass cheeks. Like it's honestly atrociously disgusting. It's fucking awful. So, you know, I'm sitting there. I'm just kind of letting it dissolve, letting it do its thing in my mouth. I don't know, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just letting the, I'm letting it kick in basically. I'm letting it get into my system. So I'm sitting there. He does the same thing. He scales out a bit more though. He scales out like a 0.26, I think it was. I remember it was a pretty fucking high dose. And I was like, all right, you're kind of going crazy tonight. Like, holy fuck. And he was like, let's do it. So, you know, he, he does the same thing. He pulls out his ID and crushes it up. I, I acted as the hand shield this time. He rubs it on his gums and it took us like 20 fucking minutes to do this because we're both idiots and we're both lazy so like we sat in the car for like five minutes doing nothing just listening to the song that was playing until finally we decided like okay maybe we should start rolling and go inside so you know we, we parked a little bit down the street he left his molly in the car the only thing i brought was a tiny bit of weed and a swisher like literally just one swisher and like maybe a gram and you know i went inside we're, we're kicking it, and as we were walking up before we went inside, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of noise. It was pretty quiet, and there wasn't really a ton of cars either, so I was like, are we early? Like, I mean, we were early. It didn't start till 8, but still, usually shit like this kicks off a little early, you know? So we go inside. Now, I had never met the girl whose house this was. Her name, what are we going to call her? We're going to call her Natalie. Now, Natalie, from first glance was attractive like when as I was approaching the house because she opened the door as we were coming up and she like waved us in and I was like oh she's fucking hot this is awesome maybe I could stick my dick in her and then I get close to the door and I like greet her you know I shake up with her I'm like what's good and then I realize never mind I won't stick my dick in her and 
that's kind of the summary of most of the females at this party, which was truly tragic, and I don't think Ashton realized this either, because we get there, and I ask him, you know, we're kind of chilling, there's maybe 10 people there in total so far, like, not many people, and none of these people had I ever met, I just knew it was supposedly gonna be a party, so I, I just tagged along I was just like fuck it so I'm sitting on the couch with Ashton the the way the house was laid out was kind of weird it was like you walk in and there's oh it, it was it was weird the front door was like off of the garage but like you you had to oh my god dude it was the weirdest fucking house like okay so you walk in and like there you walk in and you're at like the laundry room I don't know why the fuck the entry like the front entrance is the laundry room and then to the right is the garage door, and then you kind of have to, like, go a little bit to the left and then go straight to, like, get to the house. And, you know, I, I, I kind of, like, go in there, you know, I make my left, I do my straight, and the living room is right there. And then, like, all the bedrooms are on the left side. You know, it was a one-story house. It wasn't very big. It, it was, like, it was just an odd layout. I don't know what the fuck was going on here, but either way, you know, I'm sitting on the couch. There, There's, like a lot of, for some ungodly reason, even though this house was so small, there was a ridiculous amount of seating here. So I'm sitting on the couch, Ashton's sitting next to me. Most of the other people are in the kitchen, probably pouring up drinks. I don't know. We literally didn't even go in there. We just sat down and we're kicking it. We're watching TV. I'm smoking a cigarette. And you know, at this point I, I didn't even ask to spark it up inside in all honesty, but I figured, dude, it's a party. I'm just going to do it. Who the fuck cares? So of course she didn't, she didn't care. I, there was other people smoking inside too. So it was whatever, but I'm smoking a square. I had my classic Marlboro Reds. It was truly just phenomenal. I only had like two left though. You know, I didn't, I didn't even have my pack. I had them in the Swisher pack. It was kind of ghetto, but either way, so I'm smoking my square, I bum one to Ashton, we're sitting there watching TV, just talking, having casual conversation, talking about how the girl at the door was not very attractive, and I pointed out, I was like, dude, she was hot from afar, and he was like, I fucking know, dude, and we were just talking, and I was like, I, like, do you know her very well, like, how do you, how do you meet her, and he's like, oh, I met her, you know, a couple times, and I was like, wait, so do you know anyone else who's coming here, and he's like, no, and I was just like, okay, well, all right, this is going to be interesting. So, you know, we're sitting there, and finally the molly kicks in. It, it's been about maybe 30, 45 minutes that I've just been sitting on this couch talking to Ashton, and I slowly start to become aware of how sweaty I am. You know, I just immediately, it hit me. You know, the first thing I noticed was just, it's fucking hot in here. So I pointed it out. I noticed Ashton was sweating too. I was like, yeah, let's go outside. Fuck it. Let's go out back. And we go out to the backyard. All the people are in the kitchen. I just kind of like wave to him. I'm just like, what's good? And just walk right fucking past. And we're sitting in the backyard, kicking it. Nothing much is really happening here yet. You know, it was eight o'clock by now. It was past eight o'clock. So I was expecting like the party to start bumping, but they were like playing music off like a Bluetooth speaker, you know, no good speakers, loud speakers. So it kind of sucked, but we're sitting there. I'm sweating balls. My jaw slowly, as the roll went on, it started hurting, you know? And the thing is, when you're rolling, you don't notice that you're clenching your jaw. You know, you never do. I've never once noticed that I've been clenching my jaw unless someone directly points it out to me. So I, all I knew is that my jaw hurt as the trip went on. You know, it started to hurt really bad. And I was just rubbing my chin like the whole fucking evening. So I was just like, shit, dude. And not only that, this was one of the first experiences, I don't want to say trips, but this is one of the first experiences with Molly where it actually had some visuals. There was tracers and a lot of them. And, you know, I first started seeing them when we were sitting out back. There was no chairs on the back patio. This house was kind of fucked. So we're sitting on the little like pavement tile-ish stuff. It was kind of weird. And I'm sitting there, Ashton was standing and I'm just looking up. He's looking up as well. And it was kind of getting dark. You know, it was, it was pretty dark at this point, I'd say. It was like reasonably dark. And I'm looking up and, you know, there wasn't a ton of stars. There wasn't a ton of stuff to see. But I was just seeing these little tiny, some of them tiny and some of them really fat big ones. It looked like little tiny little purple sperm cells just flying across the sky, you know, and everywhere else I looked. Just the tiniest little dashes of purple just flying across just real smoothly just going doing their business moving around swimming around 
it was crazy, you know, and it, it, I mean, I don't want to say it was crazy. It wasn't really all that crazy. It was more interesting because I'd never had visuals on Molly before. And I'm looking up and I'm just like, damn, you know, I didn't even realize that it was tracers at the time. I realized, I thought like, what's happening in the fucking sky right now, dude. And you know, as this roll's going on and progressing, and I'm just, I, I spent maybe an hour out there just looking up at the sky, talking to Ashton, and just doing nothing. Like, literally, we just, we smoked some cigarettes. We had to go inside and bum some off some kids, and they had Newport, so I was kind of angry, but when I'm rolling, I like Newport, so I'll give them a pass. But, and we, we just sp- spent our time, at least for the first hour, just out there smoking Newports and looking up and talking, you know? And it was, it was nice. It was peaceful. And, it didn't even cross my mind that this should be a party and why the fuck is it still so quiet? You know, eventually we went back inside, two people had left. So there was eight people, not including us two, not including me and Ashton. And I, I'm like, okay, this is fucked. You know, I'm kind of like looking over at the clock. I'm checking my phone. I'm like, dude, it's like nine o'clock. Like, what the fuck? Why, like, why is nobody here? What kind of party is this? And, you know, Ashton mentioned nothing of it. He didn't, I didn't think he really cared and I still had a good time. So I didn't really care either. And finally I was like, all right, let's get some music. You know, let's get like some real loud music. Does anyone have a speaker? And the girl who, you know, Natalie is what we're going to call her. The, the girl who owns the house or lives there or whatever. She was like, oh yeah, I could turn it up. It's only like half volume. Now, the idea of half-volume music when you're rolling is fucking blasphemy. So I was like, what? Can I connect? And she was like, yeah, well, you know, just, it's called, you know, yada yada fucking something speaker Bluetooth. You know, I was like, all right, bet. So I connect to it. It was one of those little, like, Beats pills. You know, it was, like, kind of loud, but not really that good. So I start swiping through my music. I start going through my SoundCloud playlist. And I spent, like, five minutes just looking through songs, trying to find the perfect song to play. And it was just dead silent in the kitchen, like... Other people in there were kind of talking. Two people already went home. Another, like, group of kids was sitting in the living room now. Like, they were in the kitchen when we came in, but now they're in the living room. They kind of migrated. And, you know, Ashton was just sitting there, like, bobbing his head as if he was, like, listening to music just, like, a little bit. Just kind of, you know, nodding his head and, like, tapping his fingers on the table and, like, looking around. And I was just looking through my playlist like, fuck, dude, I got to find a banger right now. And I literally, I kid you not, I couldn't find shit on SoundCloud because I wasn't in the mood for rap. You know, I I wanted to really hear like a loud ass beat drop. So I went on YouTube and literally just typed in EDM. I just typed in EDM. And I remember one of the first things that came up was this, oh, I'm going to butcher this name. Is it, is it Bass Nectar or Bass Nectar? I don't fucking know. Either way, that dude, the Nectar dude, one of his songs is one of the first results and I clicked it. And all I remember was this song came on and it came in slow at first. It came in slow and I was like, okay. And within like 15 seconds after coming in slow, it was just, it was getting me hyped up. We were bump into it. Let me tell you, I've like, I don't dance when I'm rolling. I don't dance in general. I can't do it. I'm not coordinated, but I like, I I just, I wanted to, you know, I was just like, fuck bro. Like I, I, I didn't even know how to handle my body at this point. I was just so like into this song. I was like, holy shit, this shit bangs. So the beat drops at this point. I don't know if I was full on headbanging or what. All I know is my hair was moving a lot and I was hype and I probably looked like a fucking retard. I guarantee me and Ashton looked like absolute fucking idiots because the whole rest of this party is just sitting there in the living room, like doing nothing. They like smoked some blunts and just sat there and talked. Meanwhile, me and this other sweaty ass motherfucker bowling ball pupils are like headbanging in the kitchen to like an EDM song on a beat pill. Like... We must have looked like absolute idiots. Thank God I didn't know anybody here. And we're bumping this music. At this point, I didn't even think about the party anymore. I didn't fucking care. I was just like, dude, this song slaps. I'm rolling balls. This is amazing. And I remember over the music, I was like yelling to Ashton. I was like, this shit goes crazy. And he was like, yeah, dude, this is fucking good. And like, we were just, it it was, it was an incredible roll. It was like, It was such a simple environment and simple, like, experience. Like, there was nothing crazy that happened. It was just, I don't even know, just the feeling I had in me was so fucking good. I I can't even, like, begin to put into words how nice this role was. It was so smooth, you know. After we were sitting there bumping some music, we stopped, like, headbanging and, you know, moving around after a little while and kind of calmed down and just listened to it and kind of nodded our heads and enjoyed the music. And 
you know, eventually we ended up leaving, I want to say around like 1030 and a couple more people had shown up, not many, like there was maybe like 13, 14 people there in total when we left, not including us. And, you know, finally we leave. I'm still rolling a little bit. You know, it was maybe like 10 o'clock, 1030. Well, not a little bit. I was actually rolling pretty decent at this point. I don't want to say a little bit at all, but we were driving home you know, and not, not driving home, just back to, you know, back to town, back to close to home. And we're whipping it on the highway. I was going even faster. I swear to God, I was going at least like 115 in every fucking portion of this highway experience. And headlights are on. It's dark out. There's not many cars on the highway. It was, it was such a smooth ride. You know, we had the windows down because we were rolling balls. It was hot as fuck. And we had the air on. And we're just bumping fucking music. We are, like, it was like the beginning of April. So it was already chilly out. And we had the windows down, AC on cranked, just banging music, flying down the highway. And we finally get back to around where we live. I'm still rolling. I didn't even smoke the weed I had. I was like, holy fuck, I have weed. Like, this is fucking amazing. And I remember Ashton wasn't supposed to smoke at the time. And he said, fuck it and did it. And I didn't realize at the time what I was doing, but I realized that a couple days later, cause I didn't even recall that he smoked cause it was such an insignificant part of the night. But what ended up happening was we got off the highway. We're back around each other's houses. We parked up at a gas station. And the reason being, I was way too fucking lazy to go somewhere else to roll my blunt. I was like, I don't want to find a spot to go park up and roll. Let's just cruise the blunt and I'll roll here at the gas station. So Ashton went and ran inside. He grabbed some drinks and shit. He grabbed like, I think he grabbed like some power aids. I'm pretty sure. It, it was some fuego. Comes back out to the car. Hands one to me. He's like, all right, is that almost rolled up? I'm like, I'm working on it, bro. It was my only swisher. So I had to really perfect it. Cause even though we were at the gas station, neither of us were 18. We were going to get carded and not be able to get swishers. So fuck all that shit. So we still had the windows down. The music was still bumping. Granted, I turned it down a little bit, but it was still way too fucking loud. Like, we were getting stares. So, I finally finished rolling up the blunt. It was loose. I fucked it. I really fucked it up. I was, like, way too unfocused to bother rolling a blunt well. I spark it up. We pull off from the gas station. We're just cruising. You know, there's this one-lane road that goes each way for a really long time, and there's not many stoplights on it. Like, it's just... It's just straight trees and fields as you drive through it. And at night, it's really cool to drive on when you're tripping or rolling or something. So we kind of turned the music down a little bit, but enough so we could hear it, but not enough where it was like obnoxious to other people. And, you know, I'm listening to the music. It's still EDM. You know, it, it switched between rap and EDM because me and Ashton were like trading off the aux after like so many songs or whatever. And we're riding down this street, smoking this blunt. He's puffing it. We're just sitting there. I'm feeling incredible. Like, we just had a great time at this quote-unquote party. It felt like a fucking party, but it sure as hell was not a party. And now we're just sitting here cruising, smoking a blunt. You know, it was incredible. And we finished this blunt. I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't really feel much from the weed because I was just rolling balls. I still was. And Ashton, I don't really know if he felt anything from the weed. Beats me. Probably. Maybe. I don't fucking know. But he had a drug test two weeks after, you know, which is enough time. And he did piss clean. But I realized that like two days later, I'm pretty sure it was not the following day, but the day after when we were talking about that night and he was like, bro, I hit that blunt that night. And I was like, wait, what? And he was like, yeah, do you not remember? We smoked. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, aren't you on probation? He's like, yeah. And I was like, when do you get piss tested? And he was like, couple weeks. And I was like, are you going to piss clean? And he was like. Probably, most likely, yeah. So I don't know what he did, but he pissed clean. You know, maybe it was just out of his system because he wasn't, he was a thin guy. So it's probably just out of his system quick. But either way, you know, that was the night after we smoked that blunt, not much else happened. You know, he went home, I went home, just kind of kicked it, listened to some music for the rest of the night. Nothing really happened. So hope you guys enjoyed this story. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to hit up my Discord in the description below as well as add me on Snapchat. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.